Hey, Cesar Rodriguez here, and what I want to talk about in the next couple of minutes is the law of sacrifice. You have to give up to go up. Whatever you want in life later, you have to be willing to plant the seeds of that now here today. And I can guarantee you something, whatever seed you plant now will come back and grow in an incredible harvest to you later on down the road. So you'll have in great abundance what you're willing to sacrifice now. Um, I'm going to give you um, a couple quick tips on uh, setting goals as well. All right. Uh, one of the biggest things that people do is, you know, everyone writes these, you know, New Year's resolutions and, you know, they write down their goals and they say, oh, this is what I want. But they fail to do the one thing that is most important. And that is nature requires for everything that you want, you have to give something up of equal or greater value, especially up front and early in your life. So let me share with you some of the things that I did to get to an unbelievable position in my life later on, but some of the sacrifices I made early on and some of the sacrifices I still make today. Um, I'll give you one, you know, for this year, I've got an extra strong commitment to my fitness. So uh, this year, I'm really going to pour it on and I'm going to make sure that I don't miss any workouts. So what did I want to do? I said, well, I need to find something. I need to make a sacrifice. I need to do something that's going to make me eliminate any possible obstacles that might be in my way. So uh, one of the things is, uh, for those of you that know, I uh, used to be a real big gym rat, but I got really into P90X, you know, that home workout. You've probably seen the infomercial. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a serious workout. It's kick butt. And, uh, and I got into it, and I actually, uh, in getting into it, I bought uh, a pair of really kick butt dumbbells. I mean, these things are bad. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, you can flip the weight, and you know, you can literally make it whatever type of weight you want. And uh, in doing so, you know, these weights can go anywhere from 10 pounds up to 90 pounds. And, uh, and I got a pair right here. Now, I, for those of you that know me, I live in Wilmington, North Carolina and in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So I'm talking to you from my home here in Wilmington now. But I also have a condo in Myrtle Beach. And one of the excuses that I used to use for missing workouts is I'd say, well, I forgot to put my dumbbells in my trunk bring them over here and unpack them. So here I am in Wilmington. So guess what? You know, when it gets busy and when it gets difficult, I just say, well, you know, I guess I got to skip my workout because I left my dumbbells. That was a lame excuse that I found myself clinging to. So I said, you know what? I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to make a sacrifice and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a second pair. And as you can see, I bought a second pair of dumbbells. So now I have literally no excuses. I'm going to keep one pair at my house in Wilmington and I'm going to keep one pair in my in my condo in Myrtle Beach so that way no matter where I go wherever I happen to be at at spur of the moment I know I'm coming back to some dumbbells waiting for me so that's a small little price to pay I think for the end achievement for myself now you know each one of those sets is like you know five six hundred bucks you know so I mean that's a significant investment but the question that you have to ask yourself for whatever your goals are are you worth it and I asked myself that question and of course I said hey yeah I'm worth it so let me share with you another sacrifice I made. When uh, I was early on in the business, I realized that one of the biggest time drainers for myself was TV, you know, because I would find myself tired at the end of the day and I'd sit back in front of the boob tube and I'd just, you know, waste an hour where I could have instead invested an hour into myself, into my business, into my personal growth. So I said, you know what? I need to eliminate that. So again, the number one key is to anticipate and eliminate. You can do that with objections. You can do that with your own goals in your life. So I anticipated, hey, I know an excuse I frequently cling to. Let me eliminate it up front so that it's no longer an issue. So I found another one. I said TV. So when I was uh, early on in the business and I was brand new, I was 22, 23 years old, uh, you know, probably 22, probably for a couple years, I literally cut off my TV and I only had the basic cable channels that came with TV. So I didn't have any, you know, fancy, you know, cable channels and my TV had about five channels. And if you actually even went to turn it on, there was a sign that actually hung over that I just kind of, you know, hand wrote and taped it to the front of the TV. And I'll never forget my sponsors, uh, Larry and uh, Kay Gregory, you know, they, you know, were mentoring me in the business. They came to my house and they're like, what's up with your TV? What does this sign say? You know, and, uh, and I called my TV. I just called it the dream stealer. You know, I said, do not activate the dream stealer, you know, and it, and I, and it was really kind of funny to me. And it was something that made me smile, but it was something that always reminded me, hey, that was going to steal my potential dreams. So I wanted to anticipate that I might waste time in front of it. So I eliminated all right, all of the goodies that it would have popped out, which would have ended up you know, sucking up my time. So now though, every seed that I've ever planted has later come back to me in abundance. So, you know, I didn't have TV. I didn't spend money on frivolous toys and I didn't spend money. Uh, I constantly reinvested money into myself so that I could have it all later in abundance. And 
Now, you know, I'm not saying that I'm at the end of the finish line. My life isn't, you know, I'm not like a multi-millionaire or anything like that. You know, I do make a multiple six-figure income and I'm able to have the toys and the time to play with a lot of this stuff though. So, I mean, if you look, I mean, yeah, I didn't, you know, have a TV that I watched at all. Now I've got a, you know, pretty, you know, decent 52-inch TV hanging on the wall, nice surround system. You know, I've got, you know, all the different stuff, you know, pretty much the toys that, you know, I neglected to buy for myself early on. I mean, this is my favorite toy right here. This is a, you know, unbelievable massage chair. It'll massage your calves, your hands, your neck, your back. So, you know, that's my easy chair. So now if I want to watch TV, I get to do it in style. And another thing that I'm going to give you a recommendation on is vision boards. This is actually one of my vision boards. Uh, this is last year's model. I'm actually upgrading the new one. But, uh, you know, you can see things. Like, it's funny because I didn't have this massage chair a year ago, but it was on my vision board. And, hey, here now I have it. You know, and it's got some of the houses, the toys, and, you know, some of the financial things that I want. But some of the stuff on there actually means more to me. All right. They're not just physical things. They're actually ideals. You know, pictures of uh, me you know, an Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, his body, you know, with his head chopped off, you know, just something to visualize. Not that I'm going to be that big, but, you know, it's an awesome idea. It's awesome to focus on what the human body can achieve. Of course, most people on there probably saw, you know, the, the lady in the bikini, you know, she's a fitness model. You know, that's a pretty ideal, you know, uh, wife, well, from a physical standpoint, at least. And, you know, I think she has a pretty good personality from what I've been able to tell as well. You know, but the bottom line is this. Make a vision board. Write down your goals. Keep them in front of you at all times via the vision board, via writing them down, you know, whatever it is that you want to achieve, throw it on your refrigerator, put it on your refrigerator, put it on, scroll it on your mirrors, and be willing to make the sacrifices to achieve those goals. And I can guarantee if you do that, we will definitely see you over the top. Thank you very much. I'm Cesar Rodriguez. Take care and God bless.